Clear communication is key to good teaching, and nowhere is this more significant than grading. When work is assigned, students want to know how it will be evaluated. One of the best ways to clarify expectations is to provide a rubric or grading guide. Rubrics are scoring charts that list a range of criteria for an assignment and establish benchmarks with appropriate expectations for levels of mastery. Grading guides are simplified forms of rubrics. They list the same criteria, but only provide a description of excellent work. They allow more flexibility in how points are awarded, but they require instructors to provide more customized feedback. They can be used for evaluating all types of assignments, online discussions, student journals, research papers, oral presentations, projects, homework, group work, etc. Although we tend to think of rubrics and grading guides only as a method for evaluating student work, they are also useful for reminding students of your expectations during the planning and developing stages of an assignment. Rubrics and grading guides facilitate self-reflection, helping students measure how effectively their work has met the goals of the assignment. They also describe potential pitfalls students should avoid so they can make necessary adjustments prior to submission. A rubric or grading guide can also help students clarify questions regarding the assignment, making individual conferences and or email exchanges more focused and productive. Of course, the primary purpose of these advanced grading tools is to assess student performance, and they have numerous benefits for instructors who want to streamline how they provide feedback to their students. Rubrics eliminate the need to write extensive individual comments since substantive feedback can be provided with just a series of clicks. Grading guides do not include the same benchmarks, but instructors can save and reuse frequently used comments. When you finish grading, scores are automatically tabulated and entered in the Moodle gradebook. A reduction in grading time results in an increase in turnaround time, meaning students receive prompt feedback on their efforts. In addition to reducing grading time, using a predetermined weighted scale with explicit criteria helps ensure consistency in grading. It can be difficult for instructors to maintain uniform standards over time because of significant disparities in the quality of student work and mental fatigue. But rubrics and grading guides obligate instructors to a certain level of objectivity when assessing each student's submission. If you are already using Word doc versions of rubrics in your courses, it is a fairly simple matter to copy and paste your feedback into a Moodle rubric or grading guide. If you are using this with multiple assignments, like repeating journal or forum assignments, you can simply duplicate the assignment, simultaneously copying the rubric or grading guide. You can also publish these advanced grading tools to the Moodle repository, so they are available for use in your other courses. You can learn more about these advanced grading features in the Faculty Moodle resource site. In the Assignments and Advanced Grading Topics section, there are links to tip sheets with step-by-step -step instructions on how to create rubrics and grading guides. These advanced grading tools take a little time on the front end, but a well-designed rubric or grading guide communicates the goals of an assignment, clarifies your expectations, inspires better student performance, makes grading more consistent and transparent, and reduces the time spent grading.